I want to do a little recording here to show you how to unlock your video transmitter. This is Tad Dows with Drones in School. A lot of times this happens when somebody goes to their video and they have it set to channel one, two, or three race band. Uh, the Tiny Hawk 3 comes with the VTX, what's called locked. So because it's sold all over the world, some countries don't allow video transmission on certain channels. So if you go and you have your video set in the video transmitter to race band one, and when you open up your goggles, you don't get a signal, this could be the issue for you. So let's go ahead and look at our drone and see how that works. Okay, so now we've got our drone. We know it's on race channel one, because so I did it in beta flight. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my battery in to see if I get a, anything on my goggles. I kind of saw a little flash there, but then I just get static. And I'm on race one. You probably can't see that real well on the screen, but I am on race one up here. So I'm sure that my goggles are set properly, but I'm not getting a signal. That's because this is a locked VTX. Now, if you look in the drone, there's a little button right here. This is our VTX button. Now, it's a little bit tricky to do by yourself, but you can do it if you're careful. What we're going to do is we're going to hold that button. Okay, and while we hold that button, we're going to plug in our battery. I'm going to take my fingernail and, and hold that button. You have to make sure you hit the button. It's, you have to kind of feel when it clicks. When I hold that and I plug the battery in, we'll see a red light come on here. The red light comes on. That means I unlocked it. If I hold it again and do it, then it relocks it. So it's kind of a toggle back and forth, but it has to happen when you plug in your battery. So I'm going to hold that, hopefully, get that to work here. And I'm going to carefully plug that battery in. Yeah, it didn't come on, so I've slipped off a little bit. So I'm going to unplug it, hold that, and then carefully plug in that battery. There we go. See the red light come on? The red light came on, and now I'm good. Now, if you have a friend, it's a lot easier to do it with a buddy. Uh, have them plug it in while you hold the button. It's a lot easier. But regardless, that's how you unlock that VTX. If for some reason you kind of slip and that, you know, connects, disconnects the battery, just keep in mind that that will relock it. So if I have it sit here and I hold the button again, and plug it in, you'll see that red light didn't come on. That means I relocked it. So all I have to do is just unplug it, hold the button again, plug it back in, red light back on. Red light on means unlock BTX, and I'm good to go. So hope that helps you out. Have a great day.